love me a good action cam. In fact, I've got uh, four around me right now and I'm adding some cool accessories to my action cams, namely this uh, bike mount that I got off of Amazon. I'll have a link in the description below this video. I'm using this on my mountain bike for its sturdiness. I will use it on my um, road bike and tri bike when it gets to be summertime. It's from a company called X Show. I'm gonna open this box up and show you how sturdy it is and some of his applications and a little demo of it as well. So inside they provide you with a plastic adapter for screwing on the back of some devices. Sometimes you have a screw that will go in. Well this is good because this is a GoPro compatible nice little accessory that works with a lot of different uh, action cams. So I've got that and here is our main attraction. Nice hefty material here. Nice and heavy. So I got a couple of different hinging points. So untighten it here and see how wide it gets. And that's as wide as it gets. That's pretty good for a couple of fingers at least. Now let's bring it back to complete closure there. Nice tight. It turns 360 degrees this way and that tightens that, which also tightens the top. So I can adjust here and I can turn this direction, which is great for 360 degrees of adjustability. I want to show you the difference between this and the plastic bicycle mount that I have right now. So this is what I have from GoPro and you can really tell the difference between the different types of material. So I've got this and you know it's, it seems kind of hard to get a handle on these things and being plastic there can be some unnecessary torque when you're tightening these down over handlebars where if you can tighten this one too tight and this one will be you know jacked up over to one side and you know you lose a screw I mean you're messed up. So here's a second one I have as well with different attachments and you know you lose these as opposed to this this is all one unit this isn't going anywhere and the difference in price is really not that much so that's the difference i have i got this plastic one which of course has the gopro adjustments and then you've got this sturdy one which is not going anywhere so let's take off my uh, van top action cam this is the one i got for 50 bucks and it came with a bike mount as well and I'll just put this on here. So that's nice and sturdy. So I'm going to use that and put that in my mountain bike. But let me show you how we can also do this. I'm going to take my GoPro 5 Black and put this on the end of the mount. And there's your two different ways. So you've got one you can put on a GoPro mount and you have one you can put on directly on the back. And just think, with these little screw options, you'll see this type of option below on cameras, video cameras, and so on. So you can make that adjustment. In fact, I have this attachment here for my cell phone. This came as part of a tripod that I bought. So let's say I put this onto here. So with this you can put your cell phone on the bike mount and I don't know keep track of any Strava rides or alerts right there in your handlebars. Might be a little bit distracting but see you can use a lot of different attachments and this is so sturdy and heavy. I'm really excited about getting this investment. This is only 20 bucks. This $20 bike mount versus the plastic ones that sometimes you have to buy separately from GoPro these can be, you know, these can be $20, these can be $10, but just think, plastic, brakes, loose pieces, lost, one piece, 20 bucks, good deal. So here's some footage that I got from my mountain bike using this with one of my uh, action cams. Take a look.
I'm very happy with this X-Show bike mount clamp. In fact, I think I'm going to get a second one so I can have an angle looking forward and an angle looking back or maybe put down toward uh, my back um, fork looking back. So anyways, I'm pretty excited about it. I want to share with you since I just got it and uh, I'm adding to my collection of accessories and toys. Thanks for watching. There's a link in the description below this video. See you later.